It was a new dawn for aviation history. At exactly 8.25 Pacific time, the first prototype electric commercial seaplane took off from Harbour Air's sea terminal in Richmond, in a first for Canada and the world. The 750 horsepower motor made little sound as it took a three minute flight along the Fraser River before landing successfully. The DCH 2 de Havilland plane aims to be the first of its kind to be used in commercial aviation. In 1903, aviation made history when the Wright brothers flew for the first time. In 1939, when the Henkel jet first flew, we had and started what today is known as the jet age. And since 1939, we've pretty much stayed stable. Today, that team made history. Tuesday's flight is a culmination of 11 months' work between Harbour Air and Magini X, an electric aeronautical engineering company. And while it currently doesn't have the license to carry passengers, Harbour Air believes it's the future for greener, safer and cheaper aviation. So it's extremely safe. Uh, there's very, very little wear and tear on these motors. With their notional sort of um, of life uh, is, you know, somewhere in, in excess of 10,000 hours. The battery on this aircraft runs on a one-to-one -one ratio, so 30 minutes flying equals about 30 minutes charging. Now that may not be optimum to run in the current fleet, but they say the technology is not too far behind to be able to do so. The batteries in this particular aircraft for the prototype purposes are fairly heavy and low density because they're basically a NASA standard battery that's been on the space station. As the market evolves for um, you know, um, aeronautic style batteries or to that safety level, the battery technology will evolve with it. The team behind this project say their focus is on the next generation of air passengers who will prioritize flying with a low carbon footprint. And so far, they seem to approve. What do you like about these kind of planes so much? I like they're, they're very environmental. The new generation started. I was thinking of making one of these, but it looks like somebody already advanced enough to make one of these. Harbour Air believes it could be two to three years before Transport Canada gives them approval to start carrying passengers commercially. As for their next project, they say the sky's the limit. In Richmond, Tom Walsh, City News.